the second generation Sony NW WM1Z Walkman is here. We've got it right here. And here it is. Ross, where is it? Uh, thank you, sir. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any of our unboxing videos, reviews, how-tos, and more. So I'm ready to unbox the Sony NW WM1Z M2. It's got kind of a rhythmic ring to it, no? I'm gonna drop the NW for simplicity's sake in this video. So this is an update to the original WM1Z Walkman that was released in 2016. I reviewed the WM1Z a while back and let me tell you, it is a fabulous high resolution digital audio player with that satisfyingly rich and full bodied sound that Sony is known for. It's been called the golden brick, well, because it's gold and it's a brick. So the big update with the M2 is that now it has Wi-Fi and runs on Android 11 instead of Sony's own operating system. This gives you options for streaming and cloud storage. I am really excited to get the M2 out of the box. So let's see what we have. I love the packaging that they use. It's biodegradable. They don't use any plastic in the packaging, which is great. All right, so got this fabric protector. So look at this presentation, I love it. It's got this velvet or velour surround, which I think is very befitting for a gold dap. So let's get this out of the box. Ooh. Here it is. I'm gonna put it down for a second to see what else we've got inside. Hmm. So you've got a leather case, which I love. I'm glad that they included it. I think that with a high-end product like this, it's good to have the case included so you don't have to buy it separately. Then we've got some literature your product guides and whatnot. And finally, the USB-A to USB-C cable. So let's tidy things up for a sec and then we'll get into it. So we've actually sold our very last of the original WM1Z. So I don't have one here for a side-by-side -side comparison, but I do know that the M2 is just slightly bigger and slightly heavier than the original. I mean, we're talking like it's like an ounce heavier. So it's just over a pound. Still, you know, it still puts this in very well into the portable category. Heck, Sony even considers their DMP Z1 player, which is like yay big portable. So there you go. Um, it feels very substantial and obviously it looks very high end with the gold. So what it is, is this is a hybrid chassis. The frame is gold plated OFC, which is oxygen free copper. And the back panel is aluminum and the OFC purity, they've upgraded it to 99.99% over the last one. And I know that Tony, <laughs> and I know that Sony touts this as offering even greater benefits in terms of rigidity and sound quality. So let's take a look at the IO and buttons. So on the top, you've got your balanced and unbalanced headphone outs. And one thing that's nice is that they include these um, little protective bits that you can stick in there when they're not in use. Now on the left side of the player, you've got your hold button, which is nice because that's so that when you have the player in your pocket, but you're listening to music, you activate the hold button and then you're not going to accidentally press other buttons and screen functions can't be, um, can't happen when it's in hold mode. And then you've got your micro SD card slot for adding external storage. On the right side of the player, 
you've got your power button, your volume up and down, and then your play control buttons. And on the bottom left, you've got your USB-C port, and you're gonna use that for charging and for um, putting music onto your player. You know, there's no denying, you can see why this is called the golden brick. There's no denying that this is a high-end player. I mean, it just, it looks and feels premium. Every, every bit of it just looks like it, very intentional and well-made. So I'm gonna go ahead and power this thing up. Oh, and did I mention that they upgraded to an HD display? So that's really nice. Three hours later. Hi there. Oh, it's very personalized. So um, with the WM1Z, you've actually got two home screen options. You've got the Walkman home screen and the Android home screen. Um, Sony does recommend that you use the Walkman home screen, um, but it's just as simple as toggling back and forth. So anyway, so on the home screen, you've got your music player widget right here. So that's pretty cool. And then whatever um, music apps, like if you download Tidal or Kobuz or what have you, um, those are gonna show up here. And again, you can customize this to how you want. If you want to um, go over to the Android homepage, um, you've got your Chrome there, your Play Store, and then the same things on the bottom. So some other talking points here. Um, you're still gonna get Bluetooth 5.0 with the WM1Z M2, and you are gonna get more playback time up to a whopping 40 hours, and it's gonna charge in less time. It's about three and a half hours to a full charge. You're gonna get 256 gigabytes of memory with the M2, the same as the original, plus the option to add an SD card. There are, um, as with the previous version, there are um, options for tweaking the sound on the WM1Z M2. One thing that they have updated is they're using a new version of their upscaling technology, which is now called DSEE Ultimate. Uh, they've also added a vinyl processor, which you can use to add warmth and character to your digital tracks. It's gonna give you a subtle reproduction of the low frequency resonance, tone arm resistance, and surface noise to give you that sort of authentic analog listening experience. And speaking of analog, one thing that I wanted to show you, just a cool little uh, thing that they added, was the, if you swipe down, you get the analog uh, volume dial, uh, which is kind of a fun little feature. So of course you can still use the volume buttons on the side if you prefer. So the amazing sound of the original WM1Z has lingered in my head for quite some time and I cannot wait to hear how the M2 compares. I am so glad they decided to add Wi-Fi and Android as I think this will appeal to a wider range of people. Now, the price tag on the M2 sits at $3,699. It is a high-end digital audio player. I think the addition of the Wi-Fi and the Android um, really helps to justify the price tag. But seriously, I know that the sound alone, at least on the original version, was more than enough to get me hooked. So we hope to get you a full review on this gorgeous player really soon. Um, just a heads up that U.S. supply is rather limited right now and um, de demand is definitely outpacing supply. Um, but again, we do hope to get you a full review really soon. And if you've got any questions or if there's anything you want us to address in the review, drop a comment below. And as always, thanks so much for watching.